Torture Garden is a magnificent specimen, an excellent indicator of Francis's talents at staging the genre, adapting solid to stellar stories from the very able Robert Bloch. Four bizarre, unpredictable, tense narratives make up this anthology yarn, one which I would argue is an improvement on the already superb Dr. Terror's House of Horrors. Perhaps because the stories are all so much different from one another, not relying on monsters, but rather a psychological unravelling of a subject's reality, their decisions altering the material expectations of their surroundings. Though they are all mostly superlative of the horror anthology cycle directed by Francis Ward Baker and O'Connor, Torture Garden is one of the best, although most of them can be considered one of the best. A mildly underappreciated accomplishment in horror history, such a lovable series of movies. Segment 1, Enoch is relatively familiar, though tastefully executed and morbidly gratifying. Segment 2, Terror Over Hollywood, is superior to anything in Black Mirror, but then so is Stomach Bile, to be totally fair. Segment 3, Mr. Steinway. Hey, the creative team behind Super Mario 64 saw this film, Big Boo's Haunt, irresponsibly unsettling for little kids to be playing that. Segment 4, The Man Who Collected Poe, is one of the five greatest moments in Francis' filmography, more than likely anyway. One of Freddie Francis's five or seven best films as director, we endorse Torture Garden very thoroughly.